It is no longer news that British Queen Elizabeth II has passed away. Her demise was announced on the 8th of September. For some, they prayed the day would never come. For others, the day should have come sooner. It has generated millions of reactions. The British are mourning. The Americans, not so much. Australia and New Zealand are mourning, for she was also their queen and the queen of 12 other countries. What about Nigeria? What does the queen's demise mean for Nigeria? Hello and welcome to Insights. I am Blessing Chris. Queen Elizabeth II was 96 years old. Her entire lifetime is longer than that of 10% of the world's population. She was 25 years old when she ascended the British throne. The Second World War had just ended. But before her coronation, Nigeria was involuntarily sucked into World War II, given her status as a colony of Britain. This move by Britain was because Britain's economic, industrial, military, and air power were weakened by World War I, and she needed extra hands. In fact, colonial Nigeria was ruled by the British Empire for more than 100 years, until 1960, when Nigeria achieved independence. Britain united Lagos in 1861 and established the All River Protectorate in 1884. Its influence in the Niger area increased gradually over the 19th century, but it did not effectively occupy the area until 1885. Other European powers acknowledged British dominance over the area in the 1885 Berlin Conference. The Queen visited Nigeria for two times in her lifetime. The first being in 1953 and the second in 2003. Upon ascension in 1952, she was to expand her kingdom's reach and continue in the path set before her. She had to ensure that the giants of Africa remained Britain's colony. Even before her coronation, she began laying the groundwork. In 1941, newly married Elizabeth accompanied her parents on a tour of South Africa and there she mapped her 21st birthday. She also delivered a radio address to the Commonwealth. She said, and I quote, I declare before you all that my whole life, whether long or short, shall be devoted to you and your service and to the service of our great imperial family to which we all belong. The future queen's message was clear. The Commonwealth was going to be her priority. Resenting the empire and resenting the queen are totally different reactions. Yes, the queen was a symbol of the empire. She was synonymous with the British crown, one that ruled Nigeria for more than 100 years, one that exploited us, starved us, and partitioned us. The crown stole from Nigeria and even inspired us to fight amongst ourselves. However, the queen is different from the crown. She inherited an empire that was on the decline. The Federation of Malaya and Ghana became independent in 1957 after her ascension and Nigeria followed suit in 1960 and became a republic in 1963. By 1967, more than 20 British territories were independent and the Queen's tax changed. It became to keep these countries close to Britain and under one roof. They came to be known as the Commonwealth. It now has 56 members and the Queen was not just a symbolic head, but an important one. From 1971 to 2018, she missed just one Commonwealth Heads of Government meeting. In 2003, she visited Nigeria to attend a meeting, which was on the 5th of December in Abuja. During her visit, she attended events, commissioned art, and toured the market. The queen has hosted and knighted a lot of Nigerians, and she was always seen wearing a welcoming smile. The history between Britain and Nigeria, if we are being honest, was not a pleasant one. In fact, Nigerians are demanding a return of everything Britain took from Nigeria. Few Nigerians are mourning the queen, not the crown. Others see her death as a liberation, as a lot of acts have come to light. So coming back to the important question, what does the queen's death mean for Nigeria? It means the death of a global icon. It means empathizing with those mourning the British queen. It means acknowledging that it is indeed the end of an era, the Elizabethan era. But as some Nigerians mourn the queen, there is no grief for the empire or the crown. Nigerians want apologies for the various crimes that were committed against her citizens, and many want repercussions for the loot and justice. Until next time, this is Insight on Crisp TV.